Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on arithmetic sequence. Here is the exam question. The first three terms of an arithmetic sequence are ln3, ln3 to the power k minus 1 inside the bracket, ln3 to the power k plus 5 inside the bracket. Find the exact value of the constant k. Please pause the video, have a go at the question. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution. I'm going to start by labelling the terms in this sequence. So u1, the first term, is equal ln3. u2, the second term, is equal ln3 to the power k minus 1 inside the bracket. And u3, the third term, is equal ln3 to the power k plus 5 inside the bracket. Now, over here, we have an arithmetic sequence. So we have an arithmetic sequence. So this implies that there is a common difference. So if there's a common difference, u2 minus u1 has to equal u3 minus u2. So now I can substitute my first, second and third term into this particular equation. So if I do this, I get the following result. ln 3 to the power k minus 1 inside the bracket minus ln 3 has to equal ln 3 to the power k plus 5 inside the bracket minus ln 3 to the power k minus 1 inside the bracket. So I've generated an equation involving natural logarithms. Okay, so now I can use rules for natural logs. Over here I'm subtracting and over here I'm subtracting. So I can apply the division law for natural logs to combine the natural logs. So we're going to apply the division rule. So this over here combines together to give ln 3 to the power k minus 1 over 3 equal, and this one here combines together to give ln 3 to the power k plus 5 over 3 to the power k minus 1. Okay, so we've got an ln of something equal ln of another thing. Because the two things are equal, we can sort of cancel out the natural logs, giving rise to the following exponential equation. We've got 3 to the power k minus 1 over 3 has to equal 3 to the power k plus 5 over 3 to the power k minus 1. Okay, so now I need to use algebra to solve this particular equation in order to find the exact value of the constant k. I can cross multiply. Okay, so if I cross multiply, I get 3 to the power k minus 1 multiplied by 3 to the power k minus 1 has to equal 3 lots of 3 to the power k plus 5. Over here, I can expand the double brackets. So I've got 3 to the power k in bracket squared minus 2 lots of 3 to the power k plus 1 equal, expand this bracket, so that's 3 lots of 3 to the power k plus 15. Take everything to the left-hand side. So I've got 3 to the power k in bracket squared minus 2 lots of 3 to the power k Minus 3 lots of 3 to the power k gives me minus 5 lots of 3 to the power k. And 1 take away 15 is minus 14, equal 0. Okay, so I've got a quadratic equation. At this stage, I can let y equal 3 to the power k. So if I do this, I can rewrite my entire equation involving y. This gives rise to y squared minus 5y minus 14 equal 0. Okay, so I can solve for y. So if I solve this quadratic equation, I get y equals 7 and y equal minus 2. But I'm not solving for y, I'm solving for k. So I can replace the y's with 3 to the power k. So now this gives rise to an equation involving k. So 3 to the power k can equal 7 or it can equal minus 2. Let's have a look at this equation first. Now we know that any power of 3 is always positive. So we can't have 3 to the power k equal minus 2. So this equation has no solution. Hence, let's solve this equation here. Now the exact value of k, so if I rewrite this as logarithms, will be log to the base 3 of 7. So that there is my exact value of the constant k. So this completes this exam question and this teaching video, pure mathematics exam question on arithmetic sequence. 
If you found the teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.